Welcome to Behind the Bar, Paul Star brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Darts Championship, the best players in the world. They've been in Perth, they've been in Sydney, and they're back, and they're back over now to Germany. Unbelievable. We don't worry about them, Peter, because we have got you here. How are you doing, mate? Yeah, good evening, Paul. I'm doing very well, thank you. Good, good. Thanks for joining us all the way from Cumbria. How's the weather up there? Yeah, so it's, it's a little bit uh, dodgy now, but we have had some good weather this year, which uh, is quite surprising. Um, not like not as good as you down in Bristol and down in Devon and Cornwall, but uh, we got it. We've got it okay in Cumbria. Good, good. Uh, now at the weekend, uh, of course, we had Perth. We got the week before uh, Sydney. Mr. Taylor done a job. Of course, his sixth successive Australian uh, win there, beating MVG. But hey, what happened in the first round for him? My God, you know he, that n nobody predicted that young Corey. But I tell you what, he, he's a young player, and he now he needs to be watched, doesn't he? Yeah, I think uh, obviously the first thing is you've got to congratulate Phil Taylor to retain his title in Sydney. I mean, that was some pressure he was under and obviously beating Van Gogh and it was uh, something he'd been destined to do and trying to do and he'd done it, but although Gervin did get himself back in uh, in Perth. But yeah, that young lad that took uh, Taylor out, 6-2, six, uh, six was it 6-2 yeah. in the end? Um, absolutely fantastic. And yeah, he does have a great future. I believe he's already signed up with... Uh, uh, Mac Elkin to, to bring him over to the Q school and give it a go but uh, again he reminds me very much of uh, an older Lewis mm. he's too overweight I'm overweight but I'm retired he's a young guy coming through and he's got a lot to learn a lot to learn a lot great answer yeah, that's what that's what we like to see. We like to see variation, but we didn't actually see any variation with a winner. Of course, it was Michael who went up with his fourteenth tournament victory of two thousand and sixteen, beating Chizzy. Chizzy, since he beat him in, in the um, in the Grand Prix a few years ago, he can't get near him, can he? No, he's uh, he's unfortunate, Dave. I think he's got uh, he's got over the scares of Phil Taylor, although he doesn't really have a good uh, record against him either. Um, it's like he almost gives up and. Uh, just lets the other player get away, but Michael Van Gogh is uh, the, the most improved player in the last five years, anyway. Yeah, he, he certainly is. Now, uh, it, this week, of course, that we I mentioned that going over there to, to Germany, it's jam packed for three European tours uh, this month, as well as uh, players' championships and in in, in in whatever. Now, one or two of the top boys have, have pulled out. They're not in Germany. Wavy is is now pulled out. So we've got Michael Van Gerwen, who's going to be odds on for that, uh, and we've got Peter Wright, second favourite. So, uh, but can, can you see anything past Van Gerwen for anything? It's very difficult to go past, as you say, uh, Michael, but um, Peter Wright really is in form. He's another player that's improved over the last five years. And he's getting closer and closer, and he, he wants it. He's probably the difference between what... If, if Chisnell had a little bit of Peter Wright's attitude, I think he may get closer to the, the two top boys. But uh, Peter Wright really is showing some, uh, some form at the moment. He is, and uh, I, I was looking at uh, for a few bits and pieces because I know it probably doesn't come across, but I'm actually do a little bit of research to try and uh, know myself. And I'm looking at some of the, the finals that Peter, the televised finals, five finals against MVGs lost them all, one against Phil, and also I think you know in the, in the World Cup of Darts it was Lewis and Taylor in 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 the, in, the, in the pair. So that's the problem, isn't it? You know, you get past these top players and then you end up playing Van Gerwen in the final. You play Taylor in the final. And that's yeah, all he's, he's, he's reaching these finals, Paul, and it's only those top boys that are actually beating him. And not only that, they've got respect for Peter Wright. They know they can't just turn up and just know that they're going to win. They work at it. They they do a job on him. And as uh, soon as they, you know, one night they turn up and they won't, do, they won't be up for that job. And, and Peter Wright will win one. And once he wins one, you'll see him win a few. Yeah, I, I think so. He is unbelievable. And I think in the World Championship uh, against Chisnell, uh, there was a massive diet. Chisnell's left a double to beat him in, in, in the last 16, I believe. And he's just stood back and he's, he's probably taken about a dozen seconds between his second and his third dart. And he banged, I think it was a double eight. I remember looking under that much pressure. You've got to be a special kind of dart player to do that, haven't you? Well, yeah, it's, it's something that he's, he's self-taught. You know, no one else, but you, you don't just, you know, come, come to be that sort of player. I mean, years ago when I was at the top of the game and I drew Peter Wright, I was in the next round. Yeah. So the, the guy's done remarkably well to produce the darts that he's doing now. Um, he, he's kept it going. He keeps his head right. Like you say, he's good enough now to take shots out when they're needed. And um, no fair play to him. He, he, he really does deserve some bigger success and I'm pretty sure he get it. He will do. Cause say, for coming from a player who couldn't even beat Peter Manley to where he is now, that's some improvement, isn't it? <laughs> 
<laughs> you know we don't mean that. We know we love it. Anyway, I'll tell you who is there. Michael Smith's there. He, he won last year. I believe, believe the place could Riza in Germany. Never been there. Never been lucky enough to, to afford to go to Germany. Peter, have you ever go to these European events? Um, no, I, I hope to go out and, and visit one. I mean, obviously, it's the PDC have, have built them up uh, to be these enormous uh, events now, and they're streamlined, and everyone can enjoy the, the darts that uh, goes on around there. Then We never used to be able to do that in my day. Um, but you just mentioned there a young guy, Michael Smith. He reminds me very much of that uh, Corey from yeah. Australia. A big lad again. His form's dropped. Yes. Now going in, he got the world champs, biggest part, biggest end of the year now, and his form's dropped. Yeah. He's got to work himself out and what he's doing in the game because he's got terrific uh, ability and he's not using it. No, he's not using it. I think we're going to be looking at odds like classing it around about, I don't know, sort of 33 to 1, bunting at 40 to 1. One of these players could step in, you know, with the likes of Lewis, Anderson, and whoever, they're not there in, 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 in Wadey. So, uh, we're, but probably it's going to be Van Gogh and who wins just another European event because that's what he does. Well, it, it, yeah, we, I mean, the thing is, you saw in the world match play where the top four, top four seeds reached the last four places. And I think you could possibly see that again. Ray Barnabas is the only one if he does wake up and plays darts, but I don't think he's playing enough. He's, he's not going to any tour event. He's not planning anything. So he's not really gaining any confidence or, or anything against these top players. He's not playing them any time. Those guys are going to have bigger confidence against him and, and, and want to beat him. Yeah, very much so. Well, I'll tell you what, Peter, a pleasure as always to have you on, on the show and thank, thanks for your time, mate. Absolute pleasure and I'll speak to you soon. Would do, mate. Cheers. Great to catch up with Peter Wundart, manly that, and fresh back from Australia. Look how well he's looking, Rod Harrington. How are you doing, Rod? Uh, yes, well, we had a couple of weeks in Australia, as you know. The week before that, I took the wife, daughter, and grandchildren away to Spain for a week. And I've j literally just had a day on the beach uh, with the kids, the grandkids again. So, uh, you know, when I'm at home, I, I do like to be with them. I, I do. As I get older, I seem to miss the wife and the grandchildren more and more. My own kids, I don't miss them at all. <laughs> the grandkids. It's the grandchildren. Well, i tell you what, I reckon you're looking better. You're, looking, you're sort of uh, a little bit different than all those years ago when you was gracing the Blackpool stage there, when you was winning your your, your match plays. Do you, do, you, do, you, do you work out? What's going on, Rod? I, I want to know what you're eating and drinking. Well, I, I, you know, I don't play arts now, so I'm not on the road all the time, as in that, so I can look after myself a bit better. You know, and even when I'm away in Australia, we you know we played a lot of golf, um, and uh, um, you know, a lot. We went for a lot of walks, and we went for a, um, a walk with Matt Porter one morning. Uh, me and our young man, Lu uh, boy Lewis, in the office, and uh, we went for 15k. Well, to keep up with Matt Porter, we're trotting while he's walking. <laughs> I've never run or trotted or walked that far in all my life, and I must admit I was a bit stiff the next morning. I'm not, not, but, not. Uh, you know, I'm pushing 60, Paul, and, and if you don't keep yourself on the move and what have you, and you know, it, it's it's a downhill slope, you know. Mm. And um, you know, Dave Allen, you know, it got that deep throat, uh, deep vein thrombosis on the plane and had a problem in Australia, and uh, you know, you don't want that to happen. So I do a lot of stretches every day. Um, and, and just generally try to keep myself, you know, mobile and um, hopefully that will let me live longer. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Well, of course, I say spending time in Sydney and Perth and beautiful places like that. How, as far as the events uh, go, so we spoke to Peter and we know, of course, T Taylor done the business in Sydney and, and then Michael done, well, he does, uh, in, in Perth. Do you... Uh, how is darts in Australia? How, how, how do you find the locals? Obviously, you've you got your Simon Willocks, your, your Kyle Andersons, and, you know, the, the, the Australian players. Uh, is it is it every year has it grown, would you say? Yeah, it, it is. I, I, I just don't think it's grown as quickly as we, we thought it would, but it's like America. It, well, it isn't like England, where you get in a car for two or three hours, you can be anywhere in the country. You know, to get the Perth to Sydney is five hours on an aeroplane. You know, and, it, and it's like that. You, you don't travel by car. You have to travel. The expenses for that are huge. So it is very hard for them to all the players to go from tournament to tournament. I mean, like young Corey Cadby, I mean, you know, I know Macca is now um, you know, and hopefully going to sponsor him as well, so that, that will help. So he will start to be able to go, you know, and he's coming over for the Challenge Tour and he's going to do this and do that. But unless you've got a sponsor or, you know, you've got friends that are going to chip in for a few quid, it's very hard to travel. You know, they have a great system down there and I'll be totally brutal with you, you know, to keep having 
expats come through to the World Championship in England, um, it's not what we want. You know, David Platt's moved out there. Get on really well with David. They've done for a long, long time. But to be brutal, we want Corey Cadby instead of an ex-Englishman. Yeah. You know, yeah. it kind of defeats the object for me. And, um, you know, without ploughing a lot of money down there and, and trying to get a system going, um, I don't know what we can do. But that's we're actually hoping that the World Series is going to uh, give it the limelight and then push it on from there because, you know, the crowds are huge, the fans are great, just like they are back here. They come fancy dress and, you know, they're really into it. So um, we're hoping that it's going to work because there are some great young dart players coming through yeah. and from New Zealand as well. Yeah, and that word for Corey, I mean, you can't write that, can you? If you want anything to promote darts in Australia, that performance against, against the power was, well, that was it, wasn't it? That's what you needed. Yeah, I mean, it was an incredible result because Phil coming off of Sydney, you know, Phil's been on a bit of a downer and a bit of a miserable git, to be quite honest. Um, and, and if you looked at his stats, as I kept saying, you know, his stats say that he's playing exceptionally well. It just needs that little bit of positive thinking at crucial times in the game, which is the only thing he was missing. Well, in Sydney, you know, he got that positive thinking and he took out the duck doubles under pressure and against Michael Van Gogh when he beat him I actually said I think we got Phil Taylor back again yeah, and it... I was very surprised that he went out in Perth but I think that emphasised how good a performance it was from young Corey Cadby you know he took the game to Phil I mean Phil still had over 110 average um, you know he took out three checkouts I think it was 72, 110 and 122 when Phil was sitting on doubles yeah. You know, so Phil played absolutely brilliant. And it's one of those that we say, hands up Cadbury's. And they did ask me what hands up Cadbury's meant down under because I said it down and then they hadn't got a clue. And and it, you know, it's, it's just one of those things you take it on the journey and get on with it. Um, but I, I actually thought we'll see what the young man has got against Peter the Rock. And I don't really give him a bit of a whopping. Yeah. He played exceptionally well still. And that was the impressive that one, not a huge performance. And uh, if he keeps his feet on the ground, level-headed, and Matt can, you know, look after him properly, then perhaps, well, he will be the, the Australian number one. I, I, I don't think I've got any doubt about that, but maybe in five years' time. Yeah. You know, Carl Anderson and obviously Simon will have said about that. They, Simon says he's playing well, but just misses doubles. Carl Anderson is improving all the time. And he will take the lead in Australia for the next three or four or five years. But Corey Cappy if he does it right, could, could be the real deal. You never know. No, that, 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 that says it all, because Michael swept up and won his 14th uh, uh, PDC of... <laughs> 14th of, um, of the year. So then it all, everyone heads off to, to the Glasgow for, for, for the finals. So, uh, 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 so I would say, apart from obviously here, then we've got the, the, the Dutch, they're mad about darts. Would you say Germany would be the, the, the next country in line as far as is the, the, the razzmatazz? Is it Germany who have picked it, put that darts really um, in the last couple of years? Is that, is that the country who stepped forward with their like following? Yeah, I think that there's no question that um, Germany are the next biggest growth in world darts. Um, you know, you only have to look at all the European events we run there. You know, they're only live streamed, but there's 5,000 people turning up to watch them on the weekends. It's it's run right. It's run just like a, a big TV tournament. They love it. Um, you know, we need Max Hopp to step up a little bit more um, and a few more youngsters to come through, which there is. But it, it, it is... Yes, I mean, it is very encouraging the way it's going and, and starting to spread. I mean, Holland's coming back. We've got a lot of youngsters coming through from Holland, you know, Austria. Um, and they're even going to start to move in up to other countries. I mean, I'd, I'd like to see us move, you know, to right the way across Europe and into the Eastern Bloc, as they used mm. to call it. Um, because darts is... There was a, a tournament in Bulgaria, I believe it was, where they had um, 3,000 people turn up and there was no prize money. Whoa. <laughs> uh, yeah, that, I mean, that was incredible to me. They sent me all the details, and I actually said next year, you know, if you can let me know early enough, I'd like to pop out to see this. Yeah. Because, you know, when you've got that many people turning up with re literally no prize money, then it just shows you that, that there's got to be some talent there. And any talent that comes through from a country that we're not really dealing with or putting in a world championship, then we want to know about.
Yeah, that, very much so. Now, when when you look at that, I mean, uh, I, of course, the big one, you're back over in Las Vegas as is, is well next year. So, um, well. Yeah, I'm not, I probably won't go. I'm not looking forward to no. that at all. Don't need it. <laughs> don't, don't need it, Rod. The trouble is you need extra money over there, don't you? <laughs> I know one thing. Um, when we used to do the Desert Classic, every time the kids got 21, uh, we treated them to a trip there and... Um, the, the year that Ryan was 21, it got cancelled. So uh, he was he was running around going, yeah, yeah like that when uh, yeah Desert was on uh, the Desert Classic on it. Well, we call it Las Vegas Masters or something. Um, so he he will enjoy that trip. I can yeah. assure you. Yeah, it, it's going to be great. We're doing packages, so if you go on the PDC website, you know you can see the packages, and I, th I think it's going to be great. We've got qualifiers coming through from obviously from America. Um, two days of qualifying, I believe. So, um, yeah, we're hoping it's going to work so we hope we can carry it on because a little trip to Vegas every year do not hurt, does it? No, it certainly doesn't. It was funny because when we went up to the PDC Invitational Fishing event, in, and, and the night before, my partner said to me, he said, If you see a barrier rod, ask about Las Vegas. And, um, and then somebody get up there and they said, It's just been announced. It's like great stuff. So I think, I think she, she's interested in going. So, we're, we're, hey, Perhaps, perhaps the PDC might pay for me to go and just tag along and just, just be a nuisance like I normally am. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think there's a lot of people asking for a little bit of a, a wild card, a freebie. Yeah. I'm just hoping that, um, you know, as a World Series, I do the World Series because it's actually a match from PDC production, as in TV and not ITV. We just sell it to them. Yeah. So I'm hoping that I carry on and um, get that job. Yeah. I don't mind ducking out of all the European events now. And, you know, like next year we're live streaming all the tour events. So I'm ducking out of all them to give other people chances because mm. we need some new blood coming in. Um, but I'm not giving up the World Series, Paul. No, that's the one thing you... you... They'll have me in a straight jacket <laughs> yeah, all the way to the asylum a, before I give that up. Just to take you out, that's absolute. Well, I'll tell you what, Rob. Super, mate, thank you very much. Thanks for your time and the insight on what's happening in, in the World Series of Darts. All the best, mate. Absolutely pleasure, mate. Anytime. Cheers, mate. Great to catch up with Peter Manning and, of course, Rod Harrington there. Ladies and gentlemen, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. It's free. Like our Facebook page and follow us on Twitter and join us next week on more Behind the Bar with Paul Star brought to you by William Hill, the proud sponsor of the World Dance Championship. We look forward to seeing you then.